it's Jamie here and before I start I just want to thank you guys so much for commenting and letting me know that you like my new background back here because I have been really liking it too so I'm also glad that you guys like it so I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video so this is a review on my new ipsy bag that I got for May of 2013 and I love getting these in the mail as you know it's just such a fun thing to open the mailbox and see your bright pink envelope in the mail and then kind of see what's in here so First you can see the bag, it's the chevron pattern, just the zigzags, which is very in style right now, so I thought that, you know, this is a really in bag to have and carry around. The only thing I don't like is that it has the tag that says Ipsy on it, so, you know, I kind of like when it doesn't have any brand on it, and then people don't know, like, what this bag is, but... I don't think a lot of people would know what this Ipsy means anyway, but not a big deal. But And the colors, not my favorite, but not the worst combo. So I thought that it was pretty cute that it was the zigzag. So I opened it up, and I wish that I had opened it up in a different order because after I looked at the first few things, I was getting kind of mad thinking, you know, it's these kind of off brands like that I don't really hear about a lot and I'm like why don't they put brands that I want to try in here and then I pulled out two things that were brands that I really really liked so I felt a little bad about that but let me go ahead and show you what came in here so the first thing that came in was a Zoya nail polish and I never get excited when they send me nail polishes I just I have a lot of nail polish and when I buy, I like to just kind of pick out my own color personally, but so they sent me this one and it's a very light purple. I really, really like the color in here. I haven't even tested it out though, but it does have like some silver sparkly glitter in it. It doesn't look like huge chunks of glitter, so it may not be bad. I am curious to see if this is going to be totally sheer. <laughs> Let's see. Well, it's not totally opaque, but it's not totally sheer, kind of in between. Um, not bad, it pretty much shows up how it looks in here, maybe a little bit more sheer than it looks. but So it's not a bad color, I'm happy that I got this color out of any other one really, because I like light purples. Next thing I got, I <laughs> opened up, I thought it was an eyeshadow, and I was like, oh, this, you know, this is like a nice matte color to have for like highlighting and stuff. and. Then I felt it and it was like a cream and I'm like, oh, it's a cream shadow highlighter. That's very nice to have. And then I was like, you know what, there's no way this is a cream eyeshadow. There's just no way. So I looked it up on the back. The back says, yeah, be buff. And I googled that and it turns out it's a concealer. So it feels really nice and creamy. It's really the texture that I like in a concealer. So I haven't really tried it out under my eyes or anything. But when I do, I'll probably let you guys know what I think about it. Next thing I got, which I haven't even opened to try, is this Mirabella Perfecting Powder. And they've sent me like lip glosses, I think, from this brand before. And I don't really know that much about this brand, so I'm a little reluctant to try some of their stuff. But um, it's just a setting powder, I guess. It looks pretty light. I think it's probably a transparent powder that you put over your foundation to get rid of oiliness and to help your foundation stay on longer. So I'll probably try it out one day, just not today. Here's where the bag started getting good. I was like, oh yay, finally. So I got a Juice Beauty brand lip gloss and I was so excited about this because this is a more natural, organic line that was developed by Alicia Silverstone. So I was so excited to try this out. It's not really the color that I would really like. It's kind of like a kind of like a brown, maybe like a mauve brown color. So it's not horrible, but not really like my personal favorite color. Although when you put it on, it feels so good. It's kind of like cooling and it's just, it feels really nice, not sticky at all. And you know that it's a natural brand, so that's a really nice aspect of it. So I really always wanted to try out their lip glosses. So I was excited to get this. And then the last thing, it just seemed like things were getting better and better. Um, I got a St. Tropez Instant Glow Body Lotion, and I was really excited about this because I've been feeling really, really extra pale lately, and, you know, I'm just not really the type that wants to deal with, like, messy tanners and stuff. I mean, I've tried it before, but it's not something I can do consistently. So, when I got this 
I was excited and I looked it up a little bit because I wanted to know what it was. So this stays on for only like one day or until you wash it off. But it'll come right off with soap and water, which is amazing. And the color of it is, it's not like super dark tan, but it definitely gives a little bit of a glow. I may do a full review on this just to kind of show you guys a little bit more about it. But um, it's really like a fun just lotion with like a hint of a tan to it. So I was excited to get something by this brand to try out. So that's it for what was in my Ipsy bag, and I was definitely pretty happy with it. You know, that's a lot of products, and I like how it was a lot of different brands, and I love the St. Tropez tanning lotion and the Juice Beauty lip gloss. I think that's amazing. Also, I really like trying out new concealers, so that was pretty good too. So overall, a bag that I was very happy with and can always use another little bag to put stuff in and travel and stuff, but I wonder if you guys got the same products as me or different or whatnot, or if you guys like your bag as much as I did so let me know down below if you got an Ipsy bag and what was in yours for this month and I will see you guys soon bye